It was close to midnight. Dylan left his uncle's house, even though he had been drinking. He was going too fast, and his truck went off the road. The top of his head hit the cab of the truck where it meets the windshield. And I was told by the medical examiner that he pretty much died instantly. He was 25 years old, had a beautiful family. He had his whole life ahead of him. So sweet, kind-hearted, generous. Never thought I'd have to write one of my kids' obituaries. I know that if Dylan thought that's how the night was going to end up, that he would have made a different choice because he wouldn't have wanted his wife or his kids or his family or anybody to be in that kind of pain. But hindsight is 2020, and that's the problem with it. You can't go back and change things after the fact. That's why you got to have a plan before. Know who your designated driver's going to be, and don't get in the car with someone if your friends have been drinking. Make sure that you can be that voice when you go out. Say, no, we're going to get an Uber, or no, I'm not going to drink tonight. I'm going to be the driver. But just have a plan. If you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for your loved ones. They're the ones that still have to go on without you. Think about them. It'll be this way for me until I take my last breath, until I get to go be with him. It's just hard.